What's up guys, Collector B here. So we are back, second video this weekend. This is the rest of the toy haul. So you can see why I kind of split it up. I, there's a lot of other stuff here that we got, which I am super excited about. If you don't like pops, I'm sorry, there's five pops on here, but we got some good finds here. I'm gonna go through all this. And you know, thanks for coming. I appreciate it. And it's Sunday, what are we excited for? Football. Football. So we're going to bang this video out. We're going to post them all. So hopefully you guys can at least watch it after football or if there's a boring game. Because some of the teams are boring. So let's just go with that. But yeah. So if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. We do videos every week. Lots of fun stuff. And actually there's some new stuff on here that we've never done before. So um, yeah. Just, you know, keep watching. I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Really do. So let's just get into it. Let's get into it. So got a lot of stuff here. Some of this stuff is because it was on clearance. And I know I've done a couple clearance videos recently, but a lot of stuff is going on clearance. So keep checking those stores, Target, Walmart, um, GameStop, lots of good places have a lot of stuff on clearance. Um, we actually did see it in Walmart clearance. They were doing the Doc Brown Ultimates, 10 bucks. 10 bucks. There's also some it ultimate. Well, sorry, Pennywise. I always say it, but Pennywise it uh, ultimates as well. They were there for like 14. So if you missed out on a lot of that stuff, you know, check those WalMarts. You can get them for super cheap. So um, let's let's go. As you see, we got some pops. We got a Power Ranger thing. This is a really random thing. Assassin's Creed. I'll tell you about that. Uh, another Batman uh, weapon, which is super exciting. And then a Toonie Tear, which this is only my second Toonie Tear. Um, but let's let's get into it. We're going to move some stuff. Move big Goldar over here. <clears throat> and let's get into these pops. So, yeah, the reason why we got five, I will tell you. But the first one we've got is Duke Silver from Parks and Rec. Now, again, if you don't enjoy pops, I'm sorry. But uh, these are really cool. I just want to show people them. This is Ron Swanson, a.k.a. Duke Silver. If you watched Parks and Rec, you understand. And we were super excited to find him. Uh, found him at GameStop. He is not a GameStop exclusive. I don't think he's exclusive anywhere. But we've only seen him at... No, I saw him oh, at Books, him at Books a Million as well. Yeah. Yeah. Books a Million as well. But we got him at GameStop. Pretty cool. Uh, GameStop does... This is awesome. <laughs> he looks really good. He's got his saxophone. He's, he has a mic, right? Too? Yeah. The only mic. Yeah. That looks really awesome. Mm -hmm. I really like this pop. Uh, GameStop is doing some sort of sale with uh, TV shows where you get a couple dollars off if you buy anything from a TV show, which is about 90% of the stuff in GameStop. So uh, definitely go check that out because we did get like a couple bucks off of him. So there's Duke Silver. I really like it. I think it is awesome. And we'll go into these other ones. So a couple of these pops. Um, the reason why we got these, I got these for my wife for our anniversary. It's our four-year anniversary. Got her four pops. She's been wanting these ones for a while. Two of these are pretty old. Two of these are new. This one is Kevin with the chili. I know he has been out for a long time. We have not seen him. So finally, I found somebody uh, on Facebook Marketplace. Actually lives pretty close to us. And he gave me a great deal on these four pops. So I had to get them. And we're excited. We are excited to finally have Kevin Malone with his chili. And again, if you have watched The Office, you know exactly what happens with that pot of chili. If you don't, go check it out because it is fantastic he looks really good this is probably one of our favorites right now uh we've been searching for him for a long long time and just kind of when he came out we weren't really getting these pops so we kind of missed out i love his hair looks mm -hmm. great <laughs> hopefully my hair doesn't get like that so that'd be real bad <clears throat> so there's kevin malone with the chili next one we have is kevin malone with the tissue boxes as his shoes and hair and hair <laughs> yes so really cool um this is a box lunch exclusive again there was we've only had one box lunch by us and that was in colorado and 
Man, when we started going there, we, we didn't really collect pops. And oh, this one has a saying. What does it say? This one says, what an awesome party. The best wedding I've ever been to. I got six numbers. <laughs> one more would have been a complete telephone <laughs> number. That's great. Did he have one? He did too. Kevin with the chili says, everybody is going to get to know each other. Other, or is going to get to know each other in the pop. I'm serious about this stuff. <laughs> That's great. So this is one thing I did like about the office pops. They stopped doing it with the newer ones um they had little quotes but anyways yeah box lunch there's only, we've only seen one by us so um and that was in colorado we haven't been in colorado for a long time now so missed out on this guy but that's great it's great look at that the shoe boxes tissue uh, boxes sorry yeah tissue boxes really good <laughs> and look at that hair man that, wow. that looks like my hair right now <laughs> This is me right now, and this is me in 10 years. Oh, God, I hope not. So, really cool. We finally got two Kevins for my wife's collection. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And, yeah, so the last two, these are what I'm excited about. So, this is a Chalice Collectibles exclusive. Um, I honestly don't know what that means. I know it's some site you can probably get these on. Um, don't really think it's in a store. But I knew we were never probably going to see these in store, so we had to get them. I'm a big basketball person, and we love The Office, see? So no saying on here. Ew. That's kind of a bummer, because it is new. These two are newer. And, oh yeah, what I like about this one is he comes on all. Oh, dude, he is sick <laughs> on a stand. Look at what? that air mic right there. What? That is awesome. That is from the first season, from what, like the third episode, I believe. Um, that's oh, cool. that is awesome. Just Air Jordan in that right there. <laughs> that is that is great. And so when we did get that one, of course, we had to get that one. And with that one, you're going to have to get the Dwight basketball. I mean, come on. Now, they do have a uh, chase or variant of this one with his shirt off. Now, that one was stupid expensive, and I was like, whatever, just to have his shirt off? Like, I'd rather have more detail with the shirt. So we did get the Dwight basketball. Really cool. These basketball ones are probably going to be my favorite. I love it, man. They put, like, more detail into these two. Way more. Like, just the basketball detail, his hair, his mask. That is fantastic. Look at that. The basketballs look really good. They almost just yeah. like sparkle. So there you go. Dwight. Oh, and he was also, I think he was exclusive. He's the same thing, a Chalice exclusive. So um, again, not really sure. Something online, I'm sure. I'm sure you can still find these online from a lot of people. Um, shouldn't be too hard to get right now, but down the road they might be. These pops go up quite a bit, but how cool is that? So we've got Ron Swanson, AKA Duke Silver. Got Kevin Malone with the chili, Kevin Malone with his hair and shoe uh, tissue boxes, Error Mike, and Dwight Basketball. How awesome. I'm in love with these two. <laughs> I think they are great. So there was the pop section um, for our video. Let me know what you guys think. I think they are awesome. We're going to put... Why don't you just put them in a line? Like, Well, because I like seeing them. Yeah. They are cool. We're just going to do this. Air Mike. There we go. So, really cool. So there's the pops. Again, if you don't, if you're not into pops, I get it. Um, there's not much to them, but I, I really like it, especially for little TV shows. Really cool. So, uh, next thing we have, I'm gonna pop this open just cause. So, um, I don't really collect Assassin's Creed. I played like the very first two games, and then uh, I kind of got out of it. But this was kind of too good to pass up. Um, this was at Ollie's by me. Again, if you don't know what an Ollie's is, it's just kind of a discount store. They get older toys and everything. And I know this thing's been out for a long time, but I walked in and they had like 20 of these and nine bucks. Super excited. I don't know. I need scissors. Yeah. So one thing I hate about these boxes, but he looks really cool. I might actually use him as like a custom because he kind of looks like Sub-Zero or like Iceman. We're going to just totally mutilate this box. Um, oh, yep, there went the bag. But, again, for nine bucks, I was all for it. And I am 
very excited to see what Ollie's has around Christmas time because they usually get a big stock of toys around Christmas time. So that should be really cool. I'm sure we'll find a lot of good discounts there. And again, like I said, just go check a lot of these stores out right now. They're just putting stuff out for nothing. Um, one of my buddies actually did get me a pumpkin wrapper for like eight bucks uh, from Target. Uh, the Dark Father Wave from McFarlane is going for like seven bucks a piece at some targets so check that so there's a base for that i believe that is for the eagle my wife said it was a hawk but it's not it's an eagle the eagle is actually really cool the eagle is one of the main reasons i bought this and the fact that this guy almost looks like sub-zero so boom there's a cool little stand Okay, that's kind of cool. Well, let's see, this is so his wings, the eagle's wings do move. That's kind of cool. More articulation than some things we get. So there you go. You get this little perch with the eagle. That's really cool. Again, like just just going back to my McFarland stuff. I mean. Again, the accessories. You get a hawk with a stand. It's an eagle. Sorry, God, I just said that. An eagle with a stand. There's two hands. So this was really cool. This is why I got this for 10 bucks because um, you get a bunch of hands. Three total sets. There's an open hand. I'm making all sorts of noise. And another open hand, so two sets of hands right there. The eagle with the stand. And then you get the guy from Assassin's Creed. Which, again, guys, I haven't played this game in so long. Don't even remember his name. I don't really care. Creed. Creed is his name? Yeah, it's Creed Bratton. <laughs> so, you guys can kill me for that. I don't care. But... Wow, he's kind of sticky. Really? That's, that's kind of weird. Yeah. How do you feel? Is that's it just weird. the material? I don't know. That's... Ew. Yeah, he's sticky. Ew. I think it might be because of the plastic in there. But um, he is really cool. I do really like this cape. I do like the coloring. The Ooh, did you smell it? Yeah, it's plastic. Oh. That's what I'm saying. He's really sticky. So there he is. I mean, again, I know this is old. I know this isn't nothing new for you guys, but really cool. If you guys are interested in Assassin's Creed stuff, go check out Ollie's $9.99. And again, $9.99 for this uh, eagle and the sets of hands. Really cool. I really like this eagle. I don't know what we're going to do with it. Um, but I think we could do some really cool stuff with Put it. Put some hobbits on it. Right? <laughs> and again, like this guy's body... I mean, you could easily use this as a custom for something with Iceman or I think really for uh, Sub-Zero would look really cool. And then you got these hands, too. So that's really awesome. Um, I wish you would have came with like a sword or something, but um, really cool. So just wanted to show you guys that um, again. Keep checking these places for clearance because you'll get you find some really cool stuff. So next thing we have, and this is probably my favorite thing here and my the thing I got most excited about. This Goldar statue. Oh, so Power Rangers. I'm a huge Power Ranger fan. If you've watched my videos, you've seen my Power Ranger collection. Goldar is probably my favorite villain. I mean, there's a lot of good Zed, obviously. Um, but Goldar is one of my favorites. And I have been seeing these statues, God, for how long now? Probably a couple months. months yeah. A couple months. And they are, well, we'll just show you. So, as you can see, this one says twenty ninety nine. Okay, so we're gonna pull these all off. Twenty nine. Sorry, twenty nine ninety nine. Um, it does have a two stickers underneath. If I can get them off. Do, do, do. Okay. So we had twenty ninety nine. Twenty nine. Sorry, twenty nine ninety nine. God, that's why you're here. Then we had the thirty nine ninety nine, and. I don't know if I'll be able to get it off. 
Oh, it's uh, ripping, but forty nine ninety nine. So when I first saw these, they were forty nine ninety nine. And as much as I love Goldar, as much as I love the Power Rangers, I was like, there's no way I'm spending $50 on a statue. I mean, I get it. It's a statue. Like, I get why it's $50. But, like, for me, for my collection, I'm just not going to pay $50 for it. So we walk into GameStop, and I see it. I just kind of pass over it. And then we're getting ready to leave. And I look at it again, and I'm like, $29.99. What? And I was like, were these originally $29.99? And my wife's like, no, no, they're not. So I decided to grab it. Well, so then... We take it up to the counter she scans it we get the duke silver pop and the total was like 37 dollars. and i'm like for a pop and a statue that does not make sense that doesn't add up if we go look at the receipt you got this was actually rung up as 22.99 so 22.99 for a statue when you can't even get a mcfarland build a figure uh one of them for $24.99. Crazy deal. So super, super happy. Obviously, they have Rita, they have the Black Ranger, they do have a Ranger Slayer. They had the uh green one and the white one. I haven't seen them in a long time. But for $22.99, heck yeah. Came home with me. I'm super excited. So check your game stops. I did go to another game stop. They didn't have any, they did have a Goldar on display. And it did say $29.99. So I would assume they are just trying to get rid of these. We asked the lady at GameStop, said, when did these go on sale? And she said, oh, I don't know. Maybe because they just haven't been selling, they've been going on sale. So, which is crazy to me. I mean, I get it again. I think it's because of the price, but oh, wow, this thing is sick. Look at this thing. How cool is that? So again, it stays, or well, it pays off to be patient. He does come with his sword as well, which is really cool that it's like you can move it and stuff. Twenty nine or twenty two ninety nine for this statue. I am impressed. You don't, you, you can't move nothing, obviously. Um, but there is his back. The detail on this statue is really good. I did always really, really like this. I just did not want to spend $50 for it. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. The base is a slanted little base, which is kind of interesting. I thought it was just on this flat thing. Um, it's not removable or anything, but really cool. This thing is awesome. I, if I find the other ones, I am probably going to grab them. Because for $22.99, you can't beat it. The detail is awesome. Like I said, the sword can come in and out of his hand. Really cool. So check your game stops out. Because if you're a Power Rangers fan, you're going to want these. I really like it. I think it looks really good. What do you think? Yeah. No? That I like good. it. For $22.99, I'm all about it. So there we go. So again, not a figure, but really cool. Check those out. We'll get into these last two things. Uh, let's do this guy next. So this is the grapple launcher replica from uh, Michael Keaton's Batman. Um, Batman Returns or just Batman, both of them, I guess. So um, really cool. This was at Target. What was nice about this is it wasn't $30 like the other weapons. Um, this one was only 15, mm -hmm. I believe, 15. So I did want to get this. Um, my buddy found this a while ago and I was like, oh, I'll end up finding it. And first time I've seen it. So Target seems to be getting quite a bit of stuff. They also um, are now starting to get the animated series grapple launcher at Target. So take a look there if you missed out on that one. So I do want to see how this one is. I mean, that's tiny. It is tiny. Well, that's why it was 15 bucks. So it is two of these batteries. Oh Lord, there's instructions for this. Let's see, where is it? It's tied down. We do have batteries. So hopefully we bought the right ones. It wasn't six of them this time, which is nice. Oh yeah, this thing is weird. That is kind of weird. I don't know how I really feel about that. Um, 
but okay well we'll show you so you have the this thing dangling so really all it is is it looks like this okay nothing real special and then this is your handle it's just a I'll little piece of plastic it. that comes out that you hold and i believe this is going to be the trigger um Ew. yeah kind of weird i i mean again it was 15 bucks so thank god it wasn't 30 um but let's see where because I'm guessing that retracts like the other one. Here's the batteries. Hey, we got the wow. right screwdriver. First try. What up? We're on it today. Let's see. Now we're not gonna be able to get this out so much. Oh lord. There more than one screw no there's not it's just stuck in there let me see hold on hold on guys there we go okay wow two of those i don't think those are gonna fit in there that does not make sense to me so it said lr1 batteries which are these guys do you see how tiny that is and it says two are supposed to fit in there. Yeah, it goes down in. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so negative that way and positive that way. All right. So they did fit. <clears throat> it was nice that it wasn't like six batteries. That were $30. Oh, no, I dropped the screw. I got it yeah for sure um these were pretty cheap what like two bucks they were like two bucks so that is a plus um again i wish with stuff like this though that they would just give you the batteries like at least give me one set i mean it's in the box it's not like somebody's gonna wear out the batteries i mean the fact that my iron giant came with batteries and you could actually press him and stuff like that is kind of interesting but okay track the string into the barrel of the grapple replica by pressing the button at the top of the grip Okay, so let's pull this out. Button at the top of the grip right here. Oh, you have to hold it. Push. Okay, so that's kind of interesting. So there's a button here. That's how it's going to retract. Does not retract nearly as smooth as the animated series grapple gun. Um, doo -doo 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 into the barrel, press the top of the button. Once again, to tighten the string on the side. Okay. And press the trigger. So here's how it looks. Let's see how far it goes. You ready? Yeah. Shoots farther than I thought. That's not bad. So then, oh, wow, wow. Look at that. Oh. I'm going to have to try to scale a building <laughs> for sure. So boom. Okay. Tracked it. I mean, it's not bad. The only thing I don't like is that with this one. It gets stuck right there. So, like, no matter what, you're going to have to, like, like, you know, use it to go in. But, you know, it's it's not bad. This is probably my least favorite thing. I mean, you could at least just put, like, an actual handle on it. But, I mean, then go whip this thing out like that and just boom. So, nothing amazing. I am happy that this was not $30. So, um, so oh. This is, did I just break it? Probably. Hold on. You already broke it. Way to go. I think I broke it, guys. <laughs> wow. Is it retracting? It's not retracting no. at all, huh? Yep. Um, so sick. We already broke it. So that's kind of interesting. This thing, I will say this thing is very flimsy, especially this as well. It's not made the best. And it's broken. So wow. I don't know. I'll have to figure out how we can get it to retract again. That's kind of a bummer. Um, but I mean, 15 bucks is not bad. I'm not very impressed. Um, really glad it wasn't 30. So 
But you guys got the gist of it. At least we got to shoot it a couple times. <laughs> so, whatever. Okay, last thing we got is Toonie Terrors. Quick vs. The Shark from Jaws. So, really cool pack. I saw a lot of people finding this, actually. And first time we actually saw it. And <laughs> I think it just looks really cool. Again, I don't collect a lot of these Toonie Terrors. My wife has a couple of them. Um, but this one was too good to pass up. So, let's... I guess it's for in. me though, right? We'll see. This might have to go with my king shark, you know. So again, what's really cool? I do like. They give you a full background right Ooh. there. So that's kind of cool for Toonie Tears. <clears throat> and here is them out of box. The shark is pretty big, honestly. Now I know obviously it's not a full shark, but they do a really good job making a full head. Um, <clears throat> We will pop Quint out. Again, if you've seen Jaws, you know. His head moves, his feet move, but that's all you're gonna get. I don't know how you're gonna, oh, okay. There we, there we go. So there is Quint, um, Jaws. No longer with us. <laughs> Here's the shark, so it's just a little plastic piece, but the mouth does go way down in there, which is really cool. You can use this shark for a lot of cool stuff, not just for dogs. Where's his fin supposed it's, to be? I don't know. We're going to find out. His harpoon's already bent, but it's supposed to be bent, which is kind of interesting. I don't really know why it's so bent it's even bent like for the box that's how they're supposed to be yeah but that's a really weird bed and then he does come with this little machete which looks just like the jason one just a little smaller and like my wife said the shark does come with a fin But, yeah, like what? That's a great question. What just fell? Some fall? No? A I thought box? I heard some fall. Huh. Right? Like, what's the point of that? That is very interesting. See, making they, shark fin soup? They don't show anything on the box with the shark having a fin. Um... And it looks like this fin would have somewhere to go. Yeah, like that. Maybe you're just supposed to glue it on or something. Glue it on. That's what they want you to do. I, I'm just saying. That is kind of weird. Like, because it would Are fit just perfect. Are right? to... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why they gave you a fin. That doesn't really make or sense. just, I guess, to have it for photos, you could just put it That's on. probably what it is, but I think it would have been nice just to have a have slot to put it on there, mm -hmm. you know? So, you can see. Ah, oh, see, he fits really well in there. So, a lot of your tuning tears are going to fit in there, yeah. which is really cool. Exactly like the movie. <laughs> so, this is pretty cool. Dun, 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 dun. Dunder, dunder. There you go. So... This is actually really cool. I do really like this as a toonie tear. Um, I think they do a really good job with these toonie tears, but this one was a must have for the Jaws. Um, really cool. So yeah, that is what we got. I know a very random, random thing. Toonie tear, a grapple gun, Assassin's Creed, some pops, and Goldar, which is really cool. So again, you know, point of this video really is go check all these cells out. They're doing a lot. And obviously with holidays going to be coming up, they're probably going to keep doing more as more stuff is going to be popping in. So check the clearance aisles at your Walmarts and Targets. Go to GameStop, see what sales they're having. Um, and then if you have an Ollie's by you, go check that out as well. I think Books A Million is about the only one who's not doing sales right now. I didn't see any sales at Books A Million. Um, so check it out. Um, and I was, if you collect a lot of McFarlane, 
I would say don't go buy them at GameStop because they still are around $29.99. They also still have the Shang-Chi Wave at GameStop for regular price. Go check out your Target and Walmart. So almost all of those are on sale. Oh, and like. the GameStop also for the Pops, it's buy one, get one for a dollar. Or that was that Hot Topic, actually. That was that Hot Topic. Uh -huh. had, had Pops, buy one, get one for a dollar, but we didn't have they any didn't good have ones. They didn't have any good ones. Um, but yeah, so check out, you know, the clearance areas because you'll find a lot of good stuff. So really cool. Happy about everything here. Um, oh, oh this just, needed it rest. It just needed a rest. Okay, stop shooting it. Oh, we mm -hmm. got clips. Four clips. Okay, so. Now it's broken again. Yeah, I, I don't know about this thing. It shoots pretty good, but apparently you got to give it like a 10 minute rest before it can like go again, so. Um, I would say, unless you really want to just use this as like a replica and just have it sit, I would pass on this if I, uh, didn't grab it already. So, um, I really love this gold art piece. I think these statues are really good. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but, um, really cool. And the tuning tear is awesome. And obviously the pops and the eagle, really cool. See, look, we can have, um, there you go. Yeah, whatever. I know I'm, 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 I'm silly. So, um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what your favorite thing is here. Let me know what you think about this plastic thing here. Not a fan. Um, and yeah, let, let me know what finds you guys got. What did you get on clearance? Cause I would really like to see, and, uh, you know, hit me up on Instagram. The link is in the description below. If you guys want to talk about toys, anything like that, I'm always down for a cool discussion. Even if you just want to show me what you found. Do it. You know, I've thought about doing like a find of the week or like the toy haul of the week. If you guys send me some photos, maybe I'll pop it into one of my videos and be like, look what so-and-so found. What a steal. Really cool. Uh, last thing I did want to say, if you missed out on the Disney wave, we did see them at Walmart again. So the Disney wave with the White Vision and Scarlet Witch, I guess they're just putting them back out again. So those may be on sale here pretty soon as well. So, um... Yeah, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Enjoy some football. Hopefully you enjoy some of my videos. And as always, collectors never stop collecting.